They say the world has become too complex for simple answers. They're wrong. There are many ways of dealing with situations, but sometimes the best thing to do is to just walk away. calling on behalf of the Department of Nuclear Regulations of Biosafety. Thank you again for your application and accepting to participate in this program. Your knowledge of the area may prove useful. As detailed in your brief, we will monitor your health and well-being, as well as the surrounding environment. Uh, furthermore, in accordance with your legal obligations, pursuant to Section 8 of your TOS document, I must legally remind you that you are to remain on the premises for the entirety of your term. As of yet, we are unsure how long this will be. Failure to comply will result in severe consequences. The world doesn't feel so empty when you know you're alone. It's a funny feeling. I've never really fitted in anywhere. People have always said that I'm an outcast, an introvert, a loner, a nobody. And if you've ever seen me, you may have noticed my solitude, my faceless expressions and thought the very same. When I see what horrors others do to one another, am I so strange? I'd ostracized myself to the point where I can't even remember the person I used to be. I hear things, voices. Sometimes they make sense and sometimes not. They're always there. I don't want to be trapped. I want to be free. Free to walk. Free to run. Free to think. My mother would often say that going back is the only way we can go forward. As I look out at the world, I often think the same. I loved my mother. I did. She was caring, kind, fun, funny. I loved her so much. She was always happy. She was the one who always stopped to talk, no matter how much of a rush she was in. The one everybody knew. 
but I was the one who really knew her. I watched her struggles. Money problems, drug abuse. There was a lot about her that went unseen. But not by me. Even though she'd recently given up drugs, she was rapidly losing weight. Of course, she'd always put that down to the dieting doing its job. And I'd turn a blind eye. One day, she was rushed off to hospital after a suspected stroke. And it was later revealed that she had stage 3 AIDS. I remember sitting by her bedside. I was listening to her favorite song. I just watched her lie there, hooked up to this machine. And it was keeping her alive. But she sure wasn't living. It was time to let go. The voices made me realize that there was a clear path leading to the world beyond this maze. A world where you are free to walk, free to run, free to think. It's a world that will welcome me. And this job was laying that path out before me. So I followed it. And when I reach the end, I'd like to think that maybe she'll be waiting. Mr. Bailey, due to problems occurring with Sector 4, we must unfortunately suspend the program prematurely. We have scheduled a pickup arriving in 48 hours at the initial drop-off point. At the time of recording, that would make it 1400 hours on Thursday afternoon. Please be ready with your full gear on, clean all surfaces before departure, make sure doors and windows I knew this time would reach me eventually. I would have loved to have stayed a little longer. I can't go back to the way things were. I can't go on. I'll follow the path before me. And when you read this, I'll be far gone. Perhaps too far to ever reach me. My mother grew up in this place and wished to remain here. But I sat there, watched her angelic face fade from this world, and in that moment, the voices, they came back. They offered me a choice. All I had to do was choose. She always believed in peace, serenity, love, a switch, something that seems so insignificant. Two options on or off. I was expecting there to be kicking, panic, desperation. 
nothing, just release. She'd found her peace, and I helped her find it. And was it worth it? Was it? You see, even after death, I still feel my limbo quite in love. <laughs> Sometimes the best thing to do is to just walk away. <laughs> 